Here, here. Here, right. It's right. <laughs> yeah. So here it talks about if the toxins in the liver back up to another part of the body, a broad range of symptoms can occur. The patient may suffer from severe fatigue, some are chronic fatigue syndrome. Sinus tension, no other cause, allergies, hives, eczema, ringing in the ears, dizziness, as in ear syndrome, and or blurred vision. Liver is about as furnace and chemical factory. If it's underworking, the patient will cold all over. If it's overworking to burn up the toxins, the patient will have hot sweats or hot flashes. Yeah. Hmm. So it might be colder in the day, but hot at night. Yeah. And so, and, and this is, you know, it's kind of a phenomena in America. You know, it's, uh, you and I are about the same age. I think I'm older than you are, but... The, uh, but it's real easy for us to get a fatty liver, you know. And so sometimes our liver gets fatty. We might have problems with blood sugar, handling problems. If we go too long without eating, we might get a little headache or shaky, you know. And uh, he's never crabby, right? <laughs> so he too caught you. He caught you. you know. And the nice thing about this is it's a real easy problem to take care of. It really is. It's really not a difficult problem for, for us to take care of. Uh, except you can't have ice cream anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Crack the whip on him. Yeah. <laughs> so we're really going to change his diet. We're really going to change your diet. You'll see, you'll see a difference even three or four days. And how much better you feel. You know, start, you'll think better. You know, and you, and, and, uh, you know, and, and, your, and let your body start recovering. You know, the body deals with several priorities. Whatever it thinks of the worst problem, it tries to crack. Does, it, does your body care about your foot? Not really. It's not that critical. This is real critical because, you know, your liver is real critical. And that's why they call it the liver because you can't live without it, you know. And uh, in America, it's really easy to get fatty liver. You know, I have a little bit, too. You know, I'd like my ice cream, but you don't get any. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you normally have for breakfast? <laughs> well, he usually takes a takes a like a high protein boost with his Worst thing you do for uh -uh. Ooh, that's done. That's good. Okay. Because the liver, we don't use protein for fuel. We have to convert that to glucose. It's called gluconeogenesis. So where does that occur? The liver. And you're stressing your liver even more. Huh. Uh, you use high protein. You're on low protein diet now. Is that right? Yeah, it's on low protein. It's like a, it was like a high protein. With, so, oh, yeah, he's doing the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah, it makes it worse. It makes, it makes it worse. I know because that's what we think. Mm -hmm. It makes you worse. Huh. We don't use protein for fuel. You know, we use, we use you know, uh, I mean, like everything has protein in it. Even fruit has a little bit of protein. But we want it low protein. Huh. Low protein. Too hard on your liver. Too hard on your liver. And uh, so eggs and cheese, and he didn't get any more for a while. Because we're, we're going to make him burn up the fat that's in his liver. <laughs> yeah. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. I got, you know, I, you know, Sammy knows I've told him, but, you know, I got kind of, oh, everybody was talking about these ketogenic diets and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, and, and I kind of fell on that just a little bit myself, you know. And I ended up starting to have it get symptomatic. So I had to go back to my old way and get rid of it. My liver was getting fatty. My liver enzymes were elevating and stuff. And my cholesterol went up. And uh, so when you, and so I said, I, I'm not doing that. And I was tired. And Jan was complaining. I snored all night. I don't snore anymore. I don't have any allergies because I got off the protein. I got off the protein. And I started, you know, eating. You know, you're going to be eating like me because I had the same problem. You know, so it was all army days that we had, you know. <laughs> and you'll see the difference. You'll be absolutely amazed at the difference in how you feel. But I'll write some things down that we're going to do, you know, and to get rid of that fatty liver. Okay. You know, Sounds and, good. Yeah. But that's what it is. I mean, you look at it. You can see it. You can see it. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. And, and that's not like, yeah, I mean, it's funny. I mean, it was about a year ago in February. Because, you know, he's used to working hard yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. and just his, just all of a sudden, he just lost his energy. And yeah, absolutely. That, that liver becomes fatty. It starts becoming dysfunctional. 
You know, liver probably has 500 nodes doing functions. It probably has thousands more. We don't even have a clue. You know? And so when the liver gets fat, it gets dysfunctional. It's dysfunctional. You know, all these weird things. And you think, you go to the doctor, well, let's put you on this drug. Let's put you on this drug. Well, let's put you on this drug. And what are you, what are you chasing? You'll never get there. You will never, ever, ever get there taking the meds. You know, now, you know, turn that off for just a second. <laughs> yeah.